graduands, transforming lives through education is at the heart of what we do, and you are all fantastic examples of this. Now, the bit you've all been waiting for. Graduates, ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for the processional party. Please be seated. Distinguished guests, ladies, gentlemen, and graduates, it gives me great pleasure as Vice Principal to welcome you to our very special and very long overdue graduation 2022. I'm delighted so many of you are here today and finally able to celebrate the achievements together. Before we continue, we have a short health and safety announcement to make. We hopefully won't have any emergencies today. However, if there is, please vacate the building via the exits at the corners of the church. They are located in the four corners of the church. I normally do the plain thing at the time, you know, like this, like that. Staff and college staff will be at hand to guide you if necessary. We have also to take uh, consideration of Scottish Government guideline and we would recommend that everyone wears a face covering while seated unless you're exempt. Graduates, when you come to collect your award, you may remove your face covering while crossing the stage. Once you have, we would ask you that you reapply your face covering after collecting your scroll and to go back into your seat. So thank you for your understanding on this one. I would like to introduce Angela Grindle from our Student Association to come forward and say a few words of welcome. Good morning, everyone. It's really lovely to see you all here. After the past two years, it's understandable that many of us will feel a little bit anxious about somebody standing at a podium and speaking to them, but it isn't bad news, and there won't be any next slide, please. It's not about what you can't do, it's about what you have done. Through the most challenging few years that most of us have ever faced, you've done it. You're here today because in the face of immense challenge, you've kept going. And you haven't just kept going, you've excelled and you've succeeded. So yes, we call this graduation, but it's also a celebration. A celebration in recognition of all the great things that you've done so far and all the great things that you'll also go on to do. As you may have found when you've been writing essays and graded units, if in doubt, stick in a couple of quotes to add to your word count. So here are a couple from George Bernard Shaw. The first one relates to all the amazing graduates I see in front of me now. I don't believe in circumstances, 
The people who get on in this world are the people who get up and look for the circumstances they want. And if they can't find them, they make them. And I believe that's what you've all shown you're capable of by completing the course that you've signed up for all those months ago now. You haven't let the circumstances stop you from getting where you want to be, which is hopefully here right now. George Bernard Shaw also said, life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. And from where I'm standing today, you've all done a great job of doing that. Just before we move on to the main part of the ceremony, I want to offer the congratulations of the Fife College Student Association to each and every one of you. You're all brilliant and you deserve every single bit of applause that you'll get today. So clap, cheer and celebrate yourselves and the others around you. You are creating something amazing. Cue to clap. <laughs> Thank you. I would now like to welcome Chris Getchell, our Chief Information Officer, to give you the opening address. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say how delighted I am to be here. Sharing this occasion with you is such a great honour. Can I just say, graduates, you're all looking amazing. What a great day we're about to have and what a fantastic achievement you've uh, made. And I'm not just talking about me being able to fit into my suit after two years of lockdown lethargy. I'm talking about the achievements that you've all managed to um, succeed with. It's such an honour to be able to share uh, today with you in person to celebrate everything that has happened over the last two years since we've had our last graduation. This prestigious event is one of six ceremonies to be held in this wonderful building. Um, and it's all about your success. Our students and this particular ceremony is to mark the achievement of our business, enterprise and tourism students and our childcare, healthcare and social sciences students. Platform party, a warm welcome to you all. Tony Martin from our Board of Governors, Angela who just spoke from our Students Association and senior college staff. A special welcome also to guests of the college who are sitting in the audience. We're delighted that you're here today in person to share this special day with us. Graduands, it's wonderful to see so many of you here to celebrate your success. What an incredible group of people you truly are, as you've succeeded against a backdrop of incredible challenge brought about by the pandemic. I must tell you all that I'm humbled, delighted, and most of all, extremely excited to be here and to mark your achievements. Your hard work, your determination, and your success is truly remarkable. And today is an opportunity for us to finally be able to celebrate with your friends and family everything that you've achieved. While studying with us here at Fife College, you've been part of something very special. The college has a great deal of which to be proud. It's very rewarding for me personally and the staff amongst us to be able to share your successes with you today and to be able to celebrate with you in person. Three of our four students, uh, beg your pardon, three of our four students, three of our students have recently won the Ian Rankin Scholarship. Four of our engineering students have received Shell Scholarships. And in terms of giving back over the last two years, our business and enterprise students designed and helped to produce face masks for staff at the Kokodi Food Bank. This work was an invaluable contribution to the volunteers who worked tirelessly to support our local community. But it's not just our business and enterprise students. Our students across the care, social science and education faculty organised a massive donation drive for food banks across Fife just before Christmas. Due to these efforts, many families were able to enjoy a happier Christmas than they may otherwise have had. I'm pleased to say that we're also a very generous bunch here at Fife College. Our students, and this group in particular, have raised thousands of pounds over the last two years for a range of local and national charities. Our care and social sciences students are particularly successful at this. And throughout the year, you've also picked up numerous awards, medals, and trophies in a wide range of national and international competitions, while many of our lecturers have also been recognized for their achievements throughout the pandemic. Students from across all areas of the college have been supported in their studies thanks to awards from the Adam Smith Foundation, which looks after the, school, uh, the college's scholarship programmes, and many of whom are graduating over the next two days. We're also delighted to be able to partner with Queen Margaret University to offer two new routes to degree education via the college, 
with two new Bachelor of Arts degrees um, being awarded over the next two days. The BA Honours in Childhood Practice and the BA Honours in Childhood Studies. We're also excited to be involved in an initiative with Fife Health and Social Care Partnership to help encourage more men to take up roles within the care profession to help to address the imbalance that we see within that sector. We're also delighted that in the last year, Fife College has been noted as having the best positive destination figures of any college in Scotland. A massive 90.2% of our students have gone on to a positive destination, meaning that they were either in work, training, or engaged in further studies following the completion of their studies at the college. These figures are testament, not just to the hard work and commitment of you, our students, but to our, our, our staff that help support you throughout your learning. Strong links with employers and our routes to studying a degree at college or at partner universities are what has helped us to achieve these figures. As a college, we are also extremely pleased that we have been able to um, be successful in many national awards, um, contributing to the efforts of our students and staff over the last 12 months. We've won awards at the College Development Network for health and wellbeing, innovation and skills development. But it's not just on our campuses within Fife that we see success. Our prison-based learning colleagues uh, who work within SPS establishments across Scotland were highly commended with a Learning Places Award for their work helping to provide positive learning experience to learners within a custodial setting during the pandemic. We were also winners at the Herald National uh, Digital Transformation Awards for the work that our teams have been involved in helping to develop the Pathways app which supports learners uh, through their learning journey. Transforming lives through education is at the heart of everything we do at the college and everyone here today is a fantastic example of this. I know that you will go on to make significant differences to people's lives, to the communities that you live in and to the organisations that you work with. Seeing you here today with all of your aspirations and hopes for the future is truly inspiring. Now before we begin the presentation of awards, this is the first graduation ceremony that we've had for nearly three years and as such I'm looking for everyone here today to make the benchmark that will compare the next five ceremonies against. So can I just hear you make some noise please? I'm not sure that everyone was awake. <laughs> I do have something to help. <laughs> so do you want to, me to use this or are we going to try again? <laughs> Come on, let's try again. <laughs> yeah, I think we're ready. And now I'm going to be quiet and hand over for the moment you've all been waiting for, I'd like to, I'd like to ask Geoffrey Proudlock, Faculty Director for Business, Enterprise and Tourism with supported programmes to begin the presentation of awards. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm delighted to announce the names of those graduating from the areas of business, enterprise, tourism with supported programmes. Tarani Kolachand. <laughs> HND Accounting. Kerry Ann Balfour. Sarah Ferguson. <laughs> Kyle Green. <laughs> Sylvia Roswachowska. Ewa Segulia. <laughs> Cheryl Tutt. <laughs> v 
Violetta Windland. HNC Administration and Information Technology, Sarah Stevenson. Arlene Nicholl. Chloe Smith. HND Administration and Information Technology, Ashley Sneddon. <laughs> Mahari Johnson. Anisha Mohammed. Catherine Smith. HND Events Management, Alfie Brogan. William Morrison. Uh, HNC Events, Karen Patterson. HND Business, Ghazia Islam. HND Legal Services, Catherine Cool. Evan Harris. HND Events Management, Niall Crombie. HNC Professional Cookery, Marianne Clark. <laughs> Natalie Coleman. <laughs> Sonia Farmer. Nicola O'Donnell. Tracy Peake. Kimberly Roski. HNC Travel and Tourism. Carly Auras. <laughs> Diane Fraser. <laughs> Alice Collier. <laughs> Katie Penman. HND Travel and Tourism, Lindsay Fleming. <laughs> Lucy Fox.
James Ramage. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes today's presentation for the Faculty of Business, Enterprise, Tourism and Supported Programmes. I'd now like to ask Kay Wheat, Faculty Director for Care, Social Science and Education, to present the diplomas for her faculty. HNC additional support needs supporting the individual, Kay Diamond. <laughs> Lauren Morham. <laughs> Evelyn Storer. <laughs> HNC Care and Administrative Practice, Phyllis Garner. Caitlin Hind. Jade Johnson. Mina Aral Candel. Callie Lawson. Angela MacArthur. Lisa Price. Sarah Reed. Kelly Wardell. HNC Counselling, Shauna Barry. <laughs> Neil Billiness. <laughs> Jamie Cummings. <laughs> Scott Edmondson. Louise Frame. <laughs> Shona Hind. <laughs> Ethan Neve Kelly. <laughs> Marie Kidson. <laughs> Angela Riley. Natalie Ritchie. <laughs> Yasmin Watson. <laughs> HNC Social Sciences, Courtney O'Connor. <laughs> HND Social Sciences, Lindsay Gray. Grant Russell, <laughs> HNC Social Services, Lisa Algi, <laughs> Karen Handley, <laughs> Deborah Keith. Lindsay McGuinness. <laughs> Rebecca Paulson. <laughs> Jane Reed. <laughs> Louise Scott. <laughs> Lauren.
Laura Sim. Lynn Warnes. Stephanie Galway. SVQ in Social Services and Healthcare, Kane Cobb. Caroline Sherlaw. Rachel Glynn. Oh, HNC Counselling, Charlene Todd. BA Business Management, Morgan Pierce. BA Finance, Savannah Harford. BA Accounting Finance, Fiona MacDonald. And BA Learning Difficulties and Disabilities, Iona Young. That now concludes the diplomas for the Faculty of Care, Social Science and Education. Chief Information Officer, I invite you to confer diplomas in absentia on those gradu graduates unable to attend graduation today. Thank you, Jessica. Christa. Feeling good? Okay. I would like to invite Tony Martin from our Board of Governors to deliver the vote of thanks now. Tony, sir. It's good to get this off, eh? It's with immense pleasure that I conclude the ceremony today. The vote of thanks is made on behalf of all students, staff, and board members of Fife College. Graduation is one of the most momentous events in the college calendar, and given the events of the last two years, it's something that has been dearly missed. It takes a lot of organization and planning, and is a huge team effort. I would like to thank all the staff involved in helping make today such a memorable occasion for all of us here today. And I would also like to thank St Bryce Kirk for allowing us to hold our ceremonies in such a splendid venue. Family and friends of our graduates play a vital role in supporting our students, giving praise in the good times and encouragement during the tough times, listening to all the concerns about assessments and graded units, as well as, in the last two years, adapting to online learning with the occasional frustration with technology, Chris. You have been there with them throughout it all when it matters. I would like to express a sincere thanks to each one of you. From <clears throat> From reception, from reception to estates, support staff to senior management, students associations to students, I am sure you will all agree when I say that Fife College wants our students to achieve their goals and exceed their expectations. Many of our excellent lecturers and support staff are here today to witness their students crossing this stage on, and on behalf of those students, I would like to give a thanks to you all. Without your invaluable help, support and direction through what has been described often as an unparalleled times, many of our students would not be graduating today without you. Some of you students are now continuing your education at university or college. 
Some of you have already moved on to begin your career. If things have not yet worked out as you have planned, do not worry. Your qualifications and skills are valuable. They will count. If you are ever struggling, remember that you were one of a generation of students who kept going through a pandemic that turned the world upside down. So be immensely proud of yourself and that precious qualification you now have. And whilst others may have supported you over the year, do not forget that you were the main reason for your success. You did the hard work to achieve your qualification. You kept going when times were tough. You have shown you can stick with it through the most challenging time. Use determination and grit to succeed what, in what you ever do next, no matter what challenges you face. Education is powerful. If you can, use your education to change other people's world for the better in the jobs that you are or you will be doing. Use your education to change the world. As we near the end of the ceremony, and I know your hands are all sore with all the applause, there is one last thank you that I would like to give. And it, that is to you, our students, for all your hard work. And I wish you best for the next adventure. So, I want you to all clap for all the students and everybody's here. Now, I want to lift the roof. I want to hear it in Dunfermline, in Glenrothes, and in Dundee. So this is for all our students, all our graduates. Hooray! Thank you, Tony. I'll ask again, feeling good? I thought you had all lost the power of voice before, so I'm feeling a lot better now. Now, thank you very much, Tony. Board of Governors, you know, the very serious people, as you can see. <laughs> now, we're really delighted, and the reason why we are delighted, as delighted as you are, is that you're the reason why we're all here and doing the work that we do, so thank you. Thank you very much for all your efforts. It's been a, a difficult one over the past two years for most of you, so you've done really, really well. Now, I have to say as well, you know, some fantastic shoes, ladies. Great. I'll be catching up with you in the atrium about those ones. Anybody a size six? Raise your hand. <laughs> we'll see what we can get there. So before we finish the, the formal part of the, of the ceremony here, you've all transformed enormously over the past, you know, half hour, 45 minutes. You were graduates and now you're all graduates. So remember that, you're all graduates and you will use that to, to good and to everything you want to do in life, as, as Tony said. So I hope you've enjoyed the ceremony. We're always delighted to see our younger students and future students here as well, especially those who are studying already. That's perfect. Just carry on with the good work there. That's very, very good. So I'm not going to keep you much longer. Before we all leave, uh, I would like to invite you to join us for a drink, celebratory drink in the atrium of the Kakodi campus, just opposite, opposite the road where you collected your uh, robes. While you enjoy your drinks, actually, uh, you also re need to remember to hand back your robes. You cannot keep them. Yeah? You give them back. And to collect your certificate, which is a ceremonial certificate, remember. Okay. So, thank you very much. Lovely to see you all. And give yourself a last round of applause. And now, ladies, gentlemen, graduates, may everyone be upstanding for the platform party, please. <laughs>